Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Daily messaging here for each and everyone. Happy Monday, September 5th. Let's see, loves, what we have for this day and how the energies are there for all of us. I have the wisdom of the oracle as oracles at the end and the radiant wise spirit tarot. Let's see, loves. I hope all of you had a great weekend and I wish you to have a beautiful, abundant, productive, lovely, and peaceful week. For those of you who did not really look for the energies for the weekend, you still have the time. And for those of you who did, I thank you so much. Let's see loves where we are and how the things are going as today. For me, start quite very quiet and I hope for you as well three of cups page of cups knight of pentacles and lovers it's like someone here is giving um, a chance to move forward in regards to the situation but the chance is now slowly or you are gonna take it on a slow route. Gemini energy here, earth energy or water. Not necessarily the zodiacs, but the message. Stick with the storyline loves. Ace of Pentacles, sun. You know, every time I smile when I see the sun, because look how happy he is. It's not just like that being said that is the happiest card. Seven of Wands. Five of Wands. Knight of Wands. Six of Wands. Two of Cups. Queen of Swords. And Four of Cups. So we have all the zodiacs, water, earth, fire, air here. And it seems here that somebody here, as we have a lot of Leo as well, Sag, Libra, there's something new offered to you, but it's kind of like, I want in a certain way. I want my way. And I feel here the one who takes the chance of going forward may not be quite sure if this will stick with or will not. Let's see. First thing first, I will clarify this Five of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Six of Cups, Nine of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. So the universe tells that what you feed is feeding you. What you give in expands. Seven of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Page of Wands, and Ten of Cups. So you are giving in here something, but very hardly for some of you. Because for some of you, you might have a conversation with a specific person and for some reason either you either them don't really realize that you are actually moving on with your life 
or that you are better this way than the other way. The Knight of Wands, Moon, King of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, yes. Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Five of Swords, Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, goodness, and Three of Cups. So yeah, whatever it is, whoever tries, whatever it tries, it's kind of hard to get in, but not because they are not allowed, but because somebody here set boundaries very strongly. And the boundaries are quite strong there. We have all the fives loves in this particular readings. And when we have all the fives, it's all about change. The change is happening. The change could happen within someone. It's an internal change. Or it could be an outside change. Somebody could change their, you know, I change my heart towards this particular person or toward this particular situation or whatever it is. And I feel here someone understand or realize that yes, being around, even given, you know, a meeting or a, a chance doesn't make them that they will have it all. I might speak here with two people who had in the past a relationship and now it's a cold energy between them. And for one, change the life quite beautifully, or they focus on the move or the change, changing their life, or focusing on certain things that really benefits them. The other one, quite the contrary. You know, that's how I always say, what you give, that's what you get at one point. You probably might not get from the same person but the life other people might give it to you whomever whatever done to someone they they could be through a lot or could be gone through a lot due to certain things they've done in the past However, I don't feel here this person who, whatever they done to them, hold any grudges or tried anything. It's more likely, most likely how I say to each and every one, if it's your choice, I really appreciate and honor your choice. That's kind of a thing here. Somebody could have their moon in air energy. But the thing is, Somebody here focus on their growth. Most likely could be material, could be career-wise. And not really focus on the relationship or relationships. The other person I feel here, they, they realize quite too late who they are dealing or who they are been dealing. And there's a lot of mixture out there. The Four of Cups here, Star, High Priestess, King of Cups. But I feel here the fact is whoever comes back, yes, they might want the person, but it's kind of the other person might have already or might move towards someone new or something 
a whole life new or more satisfying for them. Way more blessed or feeling blessed. That's why always, always honor your past. That cannot be changed. Enjoy the present and focus for the future. The thing is, the person who comes along or whatever comes and yes, I will give it a chance. I will, I will meet you kind of. We'll take it easy and see what we can do. But I have something else in mind. And somebody here might have something new in their life, but they don't want to really share it. They don't want to really, you know, know everyone. And this, whoever comes, they don't know. Another thing here, if who I'm speaking here doesn't have someone else, it's more likely they are, they are feeling complete the way they are, how they are. And they don't need additional, you know, factors around them. Because look at here, loves. We have the Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune is number 10. The only card is missing here. It's Ten of Wands. It's more like a closure moment. Someone my needs or my take. So the chance to meet here for some of you might be like, let's close this chapter for good or let's put this burden to rest. But indeed here, one has a great energy. Another one, it's willing to build up. But the timelines... I'm not speaking the time in this earthly life, the timelines of movement. One is way behind the, than the other one. Can this one catch or not stick, but will, will this person will catch up or, will get till the other person or not? It's not coming the, the right the right word. Yeah, I believe it's the catch up energy. Let's see really quick where's the you see here the death and the hermit. Let's see where is the ten of wands? Here it is. Right here, Four of Swords, Judgment, and Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and Temperance. For one part, someone here needs the chance for them, or whatever chance, whatever meeting is happening to give them peace of mind but back in their mind they want something to renew that's the the judgment and that's the the temperance card a comeback of some kind so whomever is this person or whomever you are dealing I don't feel you want such a rush to share a lot of news with this person or tell them whatever you have. It's kind of the, the connection, it's, it's lost a lot or lost a long time. And if somebody here were not really into moving in their life, it's not 
me who I am supposed to show them the way or to to lead them to the path Ooh. let's see the best advice here Magician, Death, Hermit, King of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and Strength. The next one is the Hangman. Somebody here starts to see a situation that I never stuck. I always look and see the things the way I am because I know I just need to keep moving. Wow, straightforward. Yeah, somebody here will be quite straightforward to whatever it is. And it's not like, hey, I'm just holding back or not saying certain things. And it's more likely I can do whatever I want, I change when I need. I'm looking on a deeper level for whatever it is and then I take action then I move I go forward with no any stops so here we are loves the device is that someone here really looked for a change and they got it another thing here they worked very strongly on their transformational energy their boundaries their wishes do I need this or is it just something I want for the moment? Do I really wish this for long or for the short term? And a lot of things shift here for some of you. And going through this transformation, somebody brought a lot of great light which was not really easy and if someone here was in your life and some of you move towards somebody else the one you left they still in some some darkness here that they need to put effort into and the way you're moving here, look at here, Six of Wands, Star, the High Priestess, King of Cups, Ten of Cups. It's a beautiful ambience. But yeah. And for some of you, given a chance to whatever meeting with whomever, probably will, will give them that insight of shift, that motivation. But yeah, in their back mind, back burner, like back burner or how you can call it, they would like to be back into your life somehow. For one part, they want to find their own peace. For other part, it's you. We have a Y card, the number 31. We have a treasure island. We have to be fair and imagine. And underneath we have unfinished symphony. So if you probably long long time ago 
you want to know certain things why happened certain things there's always always a reason no matter what is that one to find it and for those of you who did the work with the law of attraction imagine it because many many times the law of attraction speaks by itself you attract what you think you attract what you see through your eyes if you see through your eyes a beautiful ambience that's what's coming to you because every time when I do a reading many of you might get oh this is in my situation and I'm dealing with this particular person some of you may say well at my work this is kind of a thing and so on what you see is what you get always so I'm feeling here there's a give and take energy here giving in for some of you it's just kind of like I just want to be fair or this situation to end fair or I am a fair person I try every time to whatever I leave it's good because many many of us we we don't complete certain cycles we just leave it as a stray but we think we're leaving as a stray that energy is coming to us that's why many times we see a lesson to be learned because there's an energy here you carry with you if you end this chapter make sure it's over otherwise you will go in a circle again and again and again and I feel here there's something here like as a give and take then things starts to move observer paying attention to keep an eye on for some of you if you did manifest something could be a long time ago and never got to you or is getting very slow I feel here now that's showing up and it's showing up in a big big way but yes there's quite a lot of trials quite a lot of chaos but slow and steady on the move however I feel here for some of you you might find balance through whatever you are dealing and whatever your questions are the answers are coming And that being said, you have a lovely start of the week. And I'll see you next time. Namaste.